Did I spend way too much money? Yes, I did. Do I regret it? Not a single bit because knowledge is power, my fenders. A brand new book video. If you have been recently keeping up to date with me, then you will know that I have been on a real book kick. I don't know what it is, but I just can't seem to get enough of reading. It relaxes me. It's like a little pamper moment just for me with a mask on, a cup of tea. I just love it so, so much. And I also have a slight problem just just a tiny problem guys that whenever i see one of my favorite book talkers or booktubers recommending something i just run to my computer and immediately order it on amazon i don't know what my problem is i probably can't even finish all of these because there are a lot of them but i have just been obsessed okay don't judge me let's just get started because these are books that you might want to add to your tbr so we can read them at the same time that would be so much fun so starting off very strong with none other than miss colleen hoover you guys already know that i'm such a colleen hoover stan to the point where when i showed my new tattoo on my TikTok, I asked people to guess what kind of tattoo I got and somebody legit commented Colleen Hoover's face. I mean, she definitely would deserve that because she is my queen. I've been completely obsessed with her books, so I'm trying to read all of them. And because I loved Verity so, so much, that is one of her thrillers. I wanted to read her other thriller called Layla. And as you guys can see from the bookmark, it's my little BT21 cookie bookmark. I have already started this and I'm completely obsessed. She already got me hooked. I can barely put this book down. It's so, so good, the introduction. Let me just read you guys the first sentence and I'm not gonna tell you anything else because I feel like with Colleen Hoover books, usually I give kind of like a summary of every single book that I recommend or that I show to you guys. But with Colleen Hoover books, I feel like you just have to go into it without knowing anything, especially with her thrillers. Also for Verity, just go in blind and you will love it so, so much more. So this is the first sentence. I placed two layers of duct tape over Layla's mouth before I came downstairs, but I can still hear her muffled screams as the detective takes a seat at the table. I mean, yeah, this is about a musician who falls in love with a girl named Layla, then some really weird, unexplainable things start happening, and it's it's mind-blowing already. I'm not even that far yet. I'm on chapter five, but I already know that I'm gonna love this so, so much. So yeah, that is the first Colleen Hoover book that I got. Then I also got Confess. I don't know much about this either because like I said, I wanted to go in blind. So I know this is about like an art gallery and secrets and like an artist that paints people's confessions. That's all I know about it and I wanna keep it that way. But look at this cover, so, so beautiful. So I'm really happy to read this. I feel like I got some of her underrated books because I hear lots of people talk about like Ugly Love and It Ends With Us, but not so many people talk about these whilst I definitely think that you know, all Colleen Hoover's books deserve the hype. So I'm gonna see whether or not these also deserve five stars, like I usually rate my Colleen Hoover books. And then I also got All Your Perfect. This is a more popular one. And I think that I might wanna do a reading Steph Boer's favorite book video, like her five star reads. I've seen Haley Pham do that video and also Sarah Caroli. I hope that I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Um, those are two of my favorite booktubers and Steph is just so amazing. I've mentioned her before. So I wanna read the books that she rated five stars and see what I think of them. I think I'm gonna love this one because it's Colleen Hoover. It does deal with infertility. That's what I've heard about it. Um, that's kind of like an uncomfortable subject. I feel like it just hits so hard because as a woman, well, maybe not for every woman, but just for me, um, I feel like I, I would be very, very devastated if I was infertile. That would be so heartbreaking. And I can imagine the pain uh, because I'm somebody who definitely wants children. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be a hard read, I think, but 
Colleen Hoover probably makes it worth it. So I got that one. Another crazy emotional book is Archer's Voice. I got it because so many people recommended this. I got like a lot of hyped books because like I said, whenever I see somebody recommending it, I need it. But so many people talk about Archer's Voice. It's about a deaf person. That's what I know about it. And um, this is like a sad love story. I'm all for that. I've also heard that A Thousand Boy Kisses is really good by Tilly Cole. I heard that they have kind of similar vibes. So if you have read any of those, let me know what you think about them because I'm really, really curious. Um, oh, it's about a small town. I love that already. Okay, definitely gonna really enjoy reading this. I, I just know and the cover is really beautiful in my opinion with these like dandelions. Then after reading The Silent Patient, I wanted to get into more mystery, suspense, thriller kind of books and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is probably one of the most popular books of the moment. This is a series and I have already started a series. I'm currently reading the Addicted series and I've also not even finished Briar You. So I don't know if I'm ready to start another series, but this just sounds so intriguing to me. Um, I heard that you're trying to find out the mystery whilst you're reading this book. So it's kind of like you're discovering it together with the main character. I really love those kind of books. So I hope that this lives up to the expectation. Another series that I wanna start is The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. So looking at the cover of this, it already looks so amazing. It totally gives me um, All Roads Lead Here vibes. Um, that book by Mariana Zapata was so good. I gave that 4.5 out of 5 stars and this is about a girl who goes to Alaska it's a love story and it says a master of steamy romance on the back so I guess this is gonna have a lot of spice I'm definitely ready for that so really looking forward to the simple wild um, like I said this is also a series I think it consists of three books just like the a good girl's guide to murder one so yeah definitely lots of books to read usually i purchase the first book of a series in paperback and then i read the rest of the books on my phone i don't know why i do that um it's just like a kind of like rule for myself because i want to collect physical books but one i don't have the space to store all these physical books. I've already got so many books, like my room is exploding. And two, it's like way more expensive to buy a physical book than to read an ebook. So uh, yeah, that's what I usually do. That's why I only got the first books of these, but I will definitely read the entire series. Then I got Circe by Madeline Miller. I just really love her writing style. I think it's so poetic. It's so beautiful. I'm definitely here for more um, ancient Greek retelling. The Guardian said about this, an airy delight, a novel to be gobbled greedily in a single sitting. That's exactly what I'm looking forward to. I hope that this is as much of a page turner as the Song of Achilles. So yeah, and can we just talk about how beautiful the cover is? Insane. Then I got a birthday, ow, <laughs> oh my God. Did you guys see that? That actually, hurt a little bit. This is a heavy book. So um, yeah, please don't slap me in the face again. This is Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. Um, again, I wanted to read Steph Borer's favorite reads and this is one of them. Um, I've already read Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. Absolutely loved it. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading this. And I guess what I know about this, it's about an age gap romance. I think she falls in love with the father of her boyfriend. So that's gonna be very interesting. I know it like starts out with this like movie theater scene. I've heard so much about this book. I've seen it everywhere on book talk. And I just wanna know if it's worth the hype. So Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. Then very exciting, I got sent an ARC. If you don't know what an ARC is, it's an advanced reader copy. It's for press or bloggers or influencers like me or book reviewers, just people that the PR agency decides to send out the book to before it is released. And this actually releases in May, 17 May of this year. And I already 
got the book here that feels like almost illegal, but the PR agency sent it to me. I've never received an ARC, so this is my first one and I'm so extremely excited. It's Christina Lauren, something louder. And you guys know I absolutely love Christina Lauren. So yeah, I just, I just, can't wait to read this. It says on the back, Leo and Lily risk their lives and hearts on the adventure of a lifetime. If that doesn't sound interesting, then I don't know what does. Can't wait to read this. And again, a beautiful cover in my opinion. I love the colors. It kind of matches the vibe of my dress. Super cute. And by the appearance of this book, it's probably gonna be very summery. At least that's my prediction of it. And I'm all here for summary books. That's why I also got this one. It's 28 Summers by Ellen Hildebrandt. Um, I think Sarah Caroli um, recommended this book and she said that it looked like an airport book. And I don't know if I've ever heard a more accurate description of a cover, but that is exactly what it looks like. I don't know why all books at the airport look the same. So the cover might not be super appealing to some, but everybody that I've heard talking about this says that this is so captivating, so beautiful. And this has a trope that I really love. It's the one weekend per year affair. And I love that because that kind of reminds me of November 9 by Colleen Hoover, which I absolutely love because there they also meet once a year. And I don't know, there's kind of like a magic uh, skipping time in books and then seeing the characters reconnect over the years. So I don't know if this is actually gonna be 28 years, I guess from the title, that is crazy. I can't wait to read it and living for the summer vibes. Then I got uh, One True Love by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I actually got this book a while ago. Um, I received it as a gift from my dear friend Micah and I haven't read it yet. So what I know about this is that this is about a couple and they are high school sweethearts, super in love. And then the boy or like the man in this book goes missing and she starts a relationship with somebody else, but then he gets found. So he didn't pass away like she expected him to. I think it was like a plane accident. I'm not sure. That's what I heard from the description of this, but then she already is in love with somebody else. So is she gonna stay with her current lover or with her past love? It sounds really interesting. And Taylor Jenkins Reid can't go wrong for me. I've read three of her books already, love them all. So I can't wait to read this one. And then another set of books that I got a while ago, but that I just didn't get around to reading is this set. So I read The Unhoneymooners. That's why I got this because it was like a value set. So two more Christina Lauren books are in here. This is The Honey Don't, The Honey Don't List. Um, which looks very fitting for Valentine's Day with all the hearts. So definitely can't wait to read this in the month of February because that's just so cute. And then a twice in a blue moon and Christina Lauren books are always like super fluffy, cute romances, nothing too heavy. It's just very light reads, true page turners. So I have no clue what these are about. These weren't recommended to me or anything but looking at the back of these books, they do sound really interesting. I will definitely get back to you with a review on these as well as a review of all these other books once I finish them all. That's definitely gonna be a challenge, but I'm gonna do it. I'm up for the challenge. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. I've never done one. This is my first book haul on this channel and also the first one of 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more book recommendations, not that I need any, but please leave them down below regardless because I just love to know what you guys want me to read. So thank you for watching. Bye bye. Love you loads.